let's get started and go download the required software we need. The first thing we're going to do is go to msdn.com and we're going to go download the Visual Basic Express which is going to work as our development environment. So once you go to MSDN, let's go to Visual Studio Express and we'll get to the Express page and what we are going to do is go to the download by clicking download now and when our next page comes up we're going to um, scroll down a little bit and find Visual Basic 2008 and download that and once it's all downloaded then you go ahead and um, run the application and do the installation okay so now it's time to download the advanced HMI um, development package that is hosted on sourceforge.net so let's go to www.sourceforge.net and once that page comes up the quickest way to find the software is to do a search on advanced HMI all is one word now after you perform that search it will be the very top item in the list and just follow the download links and download that software and after you get everything downloaded then you want to unzip it so you will have your uh, files open and ready to use in the next step So very quickly I just wanted to show the um, hardware I'm using for this demonstration. I have my PC hooked up to a Slick 504 with a null modem cable and that is all I'm using for this demonstration. You see there is a one rung ladder program with a timer and a B30 to reset the timer. So now let's go on to the next step. Okay let's get started building the HMI. Browse to the files that you downloaded and unzipped from SourceForge.net and double click the solution files, the .sln. Once you do, you'll get a little warning just because you downloaded the file. Say OK to that warning. So our first step is to go up to the build menu and let's build it. We have to do this because it is a source code project. We have to build the source code. So now go over to Solution Explorer, double click Main Form to open our form. Now let's go over to the toolbox and scroll all the way to the top and you will see here's all of our components. Grab a digital panel meter and drag and drop that to the form. Once you do that go down to the properties window and find the PLC address. Now let's change that from N7 colon 0 to T4 colon 0 dot ACC so that we can monitor the accumulation value of our timer. Now I'm also going to change the gauge text to T4 colon 0 running just so the meter will show us exactly what's um, being displayed by the meter. Now if you notice um, there was a component automatically added called DF1COM1 that's actually the driver and if you look at the properties this is where you can change the COM port if you're using other than COM1. Okay so let's go back to the toolbox and grab a momentary push button and drag and drop one of those to the form and go over to the properties window and the PLC address will automatically be B3 colon 0 which is fine we're going to use that um, now I'm going to change the legend text um, and make it say reset since it does in effect reset our timer so once that's done let's go up to the top to our VCR play button and actually run the application now once the application is started up and running if you are connected to the PLC and um, have power it will search for and find the baud rate settings and then begin um, reading the values out of the PLC and you'll be able to see your um, accumulation value of your timer and when you hit the reset button it will reset and there we have it we built our HMI <laughs>